So I wanna be clear, what makes this material scary to machine isn't the difficulty of the actual material. In fact, this breaks a pretty good chip. We're not machining ink and nail here. But what it is, is extremely expensive. So the tiniest detail missed and you will cost your company thousands of dollars. And depending on where you work, might cost you your job. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and make ourselves some chips. Now this material is crazy expensive, but if there's another crazy material out there that you know of that you'd like to see us machine, go ahead and let us know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe so you see that video when it comes out. All right, so there is a lot to machine on this part. The first thing we're gonna do is the first thing we do pretty much with any part in our live tool aid, and that is we are going to rough the face and rough the OD. Now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to use a DNMG, and that's to really get in here. We have a couple little undercuts, specifically on the OD. We have a couple 10 thou radius, almost like mountains or humps or bumps that we need to kind of undercut. So we're gonna use that DNMG to do it. All right, now next up, we're gonna go ahead and we have a 129 hole that we're gonna drill all the way, well, mostly through this part, probably through about 80% of the part. All right, and so we're gonna be using actually a 15 times D drill to do that, and we will go ahead and peck it. Now, when using the 15 times D drill, I'm gonna go ahead and use coolant. We're gonna machine this part as dry as we can for you, but at least on the drill, we'll see about other tools. I'm gonna wanna run some coolant just so we don't melt chips down inside the part. So next we're gonna finish the face and finish the OD. Now here's where you really wanna be a little bit careful. There's a couple things going on. First and foremost, if you look on your print, you'll notice that there is a max fillet radius of 5,000. That means that our tool has to be sharper than that 5,000. So we can't come in with an 8,000 radius or a 15,000 radius and cut those features because really ultimately we will probably scrap all those parts. In theory, you could put them back in and make them sharp, but that would be a nightmare. So you really wanna watch your print and make sure that you don't miss something like that because with the material like this, again, this is one of those small details that could really end up wrecking you and your company's day. All right, some of you might be wondering why this Vespal material is so expensive. Why does nine inches cost $1,000? And that really has to do with the way it performs and some of its features and properties. It's a polyamide plastic material, again, that really outperforms any other material in its class. It's designed for high-end uh, aerospace applications. You, you will see it in automotive and other energy producing sectors, but it maintains really great uh, dimensional stability even under high thermal conditions. So it can really operate from like a cryogenic sort of state where it resists becoming brittle all the way up to really like 550 degrees continuous environment. It won't melt and soften like other plastics might. And it can even go up to around, I wanna say like 850 degrees in intermittent conditions. So for being a plastic material, it really does hold up really well in demanding applications. Festival is also known to really have a low friction and good wear resistance. So in applications where it's going to be making contact with other surfaces, this build definitely holds up. It also shows good chemical resistance. Again, it has a high dimensional stability under various extreme conditions. And this part is highly sought after for all these reasons and more. And really at the end of the day, that's why you're gonna pay such a high price tag. All right, so here it is, over $300 worth of vegetable in this small little part right here. Now again, I wanna emphasize, it's not the difficulty of the machining, but the cost of this material that you wanna keep in mind. So everything you do, everything you look at, from a small nose radius, like we mentioned in there earlier, to a small surface finish. Don't let a tiny detail become a big problem. Now we went ahead and we parted this off so we could show you, but normally we would go ahead and we would grab it with our sub right there. In fact, this machine is on its way out next week. So when our new machine comes in, we'll show you what that op two looks like. Thanks again for watching the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.